When caring for a patient with a trach tube, the caregiver must always have emergency supplies on hand. These are a resuscitation bag and mask, an oxygen tank, an extra trach tube and downsized trach tube, a suction machine and suction catheters, trach change supplies such as gloves, lubricating jelly, syringe, trach ties, saline tubes, scissors, Kelly clamp, and wire cutter if needed. If the patient has difficulty breathing, the most usual cause is a blocked trach tube. Suction the trach tube to the identified safe suction depth. After suctioning, look at the patient's breathing. Does the chest rise and fall with each breath? Can you hear air moving through the trach tube? Do you hear air moving in the lungs on both sides of the chest? Is the patient's skin its normal color? If the patient has an oximeter, is the oxygen percent level normal? If suctioning did not improve the patient's breathing, then perform bibs. B is for bag, which means use the resuscitation bag. Attach the resuscitation bag tubing to an oxygen tank and turn the oxygen on to the highest flow setting. Attach the resuscitation bag trach adapter to the trach tube and squeeze the bag firmly and repeatedly. Look at the patient's chest to see if it rises each time you squeeze the bag. I is for irrigate, which means putting saline into the trach. Remove the resuscitation bag from the trach tube. Take a pink saline tube and squeeze about 1 or 2 milliliters into the trach. B is for bag, which means use the resuscitation bag again. Squeeze the bag firmly and repeatedly about five times. S is for suction, which means suction the trach tube. Suction to the predetermined safe suction depth. After suctioning, connect the resuscitation bag to the trach tube again. Squeeze the bag firmly and repeatedly. Look at the patient's chest to see if it rises each time you squeeze the bag. If you do not see the chest rise when you squeeze the bag, perform an emergency trach tube change. Start by quickly opening the bag that contains the emergency trach tubes and supplies. Lubricate if necessary and if time allows. Deflate the cuff if the patient has a cuffed trach tube. Remove the trach ties from the trach tube. Remove the existing tube by pulling it out with a motion that follows the curve of the tube. Pick up the emergency trach tube by the obturator and hub. Insert the new tube into the trach stoma with a motion that follows the curve of the tube. If you are unable to insert the new trach tube, quickly open the size smaller trach tube and insert into the patient's stoma. After inserting the new trach tube, hold the flange with one hand. Immediately remove the obturator with a motion that follows the curve of the tube. Set the obturator off to the side. While holding the new trach tube in place, inflate the cuff if the patient has a cuffed tube. Then attach the resuscitation bag to the trach tube and squeeze the bag firmly and repeatedly. Look at the patient's chest to see if it rises each time you squeeze the bag. If the chest does not rise, call 911 and repeat the bib steps with two changes. When squeezing the resuscitation bag, squeeze the bag with more force than before. When suctioning, push the catheter in twice the normal safe suction distance or until you feel resistance. If the chest rises, remove the resuscitation bag from the trach tube. Attach the trach ties to the new tube. Look again at the patient's breathing. Does the chest rise and fall with each breath? Can you hear air moving through the trach tube? Do you hear air moving in the lungs on both sides of the chest? Is the patient's skin color its normal color? If the patient has an oximeter, 
Is the oxygen percent level normal? Contact the doctor or call 911 if the patient's breathing is not normal.